Okay, today we're going to take have a short lesson on combining sentences to improve the style of your writing. And this does affect your grade. So um, if you're not going to spend time revising at the sentence level in, in a really, really time-consuming and tedious fashion, you can't really expect to get much more than a 2 or 2.5 on any writing assignment that you complete. Okay, so the one thing that I noticed about this is a sample from a letter that a student wrote. And one thing that I noticed about this is that there was a lot of the word I in it, which is okay to use I, but when you use it all the time, or any word, it can get to be really monotonous. So if you're looking through your writing and you see that there's a word that's appearing a lot, you can you, you might want to do, like, uh, if you're using Word, you can go to Edit, Find, and you can set it to just find that word. And you can actually go through and see. So I'm looking for the word I. How, you can see how many times that word was actually used. It says 16 times. So let's see. This is a chunk. This is, was a letter. And there were 204 words. And of those 204 words, 16 of them were the word I which is almost 20%, so almost 20% of the words, I'm sorry, 10%. It's almost 10%, so almost 10% of the total words are the same word, which is not good no matter what it is. I'm, I'm not getting down on the use of I in itself, but any word that you use repetitively can be very, that will impact your grade. It's just not, it's not the best kind of writing it could be. So. You have to go in in situations like that in order to be more concise as well and reword your sentences. And this is just a very time consuming and tedious thing. So let's say that I wanted to get rid of all the eyes. Okay, so I'm going to go through and do this. Recently I was in your store location. Okay, so I don't remember how many other eyes were, there were to begin with. I couldn't get rid of all the eyes in the context that this person is writing about their own personal experience. But I also noticed that there were two apostrophe errors, possessive, uh, possessive situations where an apostrophe is needed to show possessiveness. But um, I changed it from the previous language to recently when visiting your Eastwood Towns, Town Center location in Lansing, Michigan. I was impressed by... Now see, here's the problem here, though. I need to change this some more. You've got R and your. So you have a, an agreement of subject view here as far as what the perspective is, and so that makes it really hard to read. If it's your, if it's your store, then it's not our store, especially in the same sentence. So and to say your two times in the same sentence would be monotonous. So I took the R out and I put the... Okay, let's see how this reads. Recently, when visiting your Eastwood Town Center location in Lansing, Michigan, I was impressed by the store's attention to customer service and the associate's overall helpfulness. Okay, that's a decent sentence. And let's go back and see what we... Wait. Okay, this is a sentence that is now 26 words, and the word I appears once. Okay, it's 26 words, and let's go back to what it was before that. And that way we can see how, if we got it initial. Okay, we added it to 26 words, and it went from... So we got rid of four words, and we got rid of one of the eyes. All right, so now down here we have quite a few eyes, so let me try revising this paragraph. First, let me see how many words there are. Okay, 98 words. I'm going to write that down.
at this point I've read down into this paragraph so I'm trying to think of instead of in this particular case giving you know first this happened then this happened like a chronology to just summarize the main point from these events and in this particular context the the writer was trying to say that the sales associates did a good job and details are good but you have to kind of play with at what point there's too many details usually that doesn't happen but in any of the writing um, done in the college classes at LCC in the context of the classes that I teach saying getting into a mode of writing where you're saying first this happened then that happened then that happened where you're kind of like just narrating it's not going to be analysis and it's not going to it might not help you very much and it's going to waste space you don't have that much space in these writings so um, Gracious. Okay. As a larger man, I don't know if I got, I don't think I got it any shorter, but it doesn't have as many eyes. Okay, 74. Actually, I did. I got it. What? What's 98? I mean, 98 minus 74 is 24. I don't know. I can't do math in my head very well right now. It's a lot. So I think I got this down by 24 words, which means there's more room for making points and doing analysis. And I know that some students are probably rolling their eyes because they can barely get up to the word count, but then you're looking at a two point at best. So if you, well, you can see how much time this took me. If you're looking at getting above a two point, this is the kind of time consuming sentence level revision you have to do. And I see this paragraph only has one, two eyes in it. 